Hi Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing great. A uh, few things here before we get started. Everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you. You can check it out. I do look at the next uh, three weeks energy going forward from this reading. Oh, and then um, I treat it like a personal reading. So sorry, uh, my voice here. I'm struggling a little bit. I've got a cold or something going on. Um, but everything else is below. How to contact me for a personal reading and how to enter my free personal reading giveaway. Okay, so first I'm going to pull uh, general messages. Your first card that fell out was the Justice. We got Libra energy there. So let's see what else. Oh, we got the Four of Wands. We got the Nine of Swords. And we got the Three of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Two of Pentacles. So what I'm picking up in your general energy here, Scorpio, I'm seeing there's um, a relationship here or someone that you see yourself in a relationship with or you could be in a relationship with. Um, you got the Nine of Swords and you have the Three of Swords. So I feel like Scorpio, there could be someone um, that is definitely thinking about you here, right? Nine of Swords finding themselves in a nightmare, can't sleep at night. So either this is someone who betrayed you or there was some sort of ending here between you and this person or some sort of betrayal. I sense too with the justice here that maybe some sort of truth came out or maybe some sort of truth needs to come out. That could also be why this person is worried here. You do have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So some of you, this could be, you know, signify an unbalanced connection here. This also could signify um, that this person goes back and forth. Okay, maybe trying to get the courage here, maybe to apologize. I get for some of you, some of you, this may be someone who wants forgiveness. So let's see, um, I'm going to do the person on your mind now. What What is this person, the person on Scorpio's mind? What else can you share with Scorpio about the person on their mind? What's the energy here for the person on their mind? <clears throat> There's that two of pentacles there. So it almost feels like Scorpio, there's something that they need to either confess, something they need to be honest about. Some of you could be restoring balance here to the connection. You got the King of Swords. Yeah, something they need to be honest and truthful about. Interesting. Yes, there's something here. Look at that, the Moon card, right? They have some sort of fear here about being honest about something. And you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so some of you it could be around their feelings. Some of you it could be something else. Look at that. Yeah, Eight of Wands. The Emperor and the King of Wands. Okay. So this is someone I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication from. Some of you this could be a same-sex relationship. Doesn't have to be. Because um, the cards for me, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. But we do have two kings here. So I sense here, Scorpio, there is someone here who is holding back from communicating something to you. Now, it looks like here with the three of pentacles, this is someone, either there was a third party situation going on here, or this is someone who really wants to work on things with you, but they're kind of scared to death right now, is what I get here. There's something that they are fearing, um, and it feels like around something that they need to be honest with you about, something that they need to make right. Let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Chariot, we have Cancerian energy. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, look at that. A lot of truth here. A lot of truth, a lot of communication, clarity. Could be clarity around the relationship. Let's see what else we have. Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
and the Four of Swords. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, Scorpio, what I feel here, you got uh, the Chariot and the Two of Pentacles here. So it could be dealing with a Cancerian. This person knows that things can't move forward between you and them unless they restore balance here, okay? So there's something here I feel that they need to do. Either they need to apologize or they need to make something right. Some of you, it's, it's honesty can be around the relationship here with that four of ones, okay? Communicating maybe their intentions. Definitely get that here too with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is someone I feel um, that I feel like they want to communicate with you, but I sense here that right now they're, they're in this um, energy of fear, okay? Someone is fearful here. And it may be that the truth has to come out about something. It may be that they just need to express their feelings. You do have the Nine of Wands here as well. So I sense that this is someone who, they don't want to give up on this connection, but at the same time, they're very guarded. You got the Four of Swords. This is someone who has been really thinking about you, thinking about their feelings. Uh, you do what's positive here if you want it. You've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and you have the Ace of Wands. So this person doesn't want to let go of this connection is what I see here. They do want to put in the effort, but this is someone who is a little bit fearful right now. And maybe they have good reason to. right? Because it does feel like there's distance, there's separation here between you and this person. So let's see uh, what else can you share with Scorpio about the person on their mind. I will also look at singles energy as well. What else can you share with Scorpio about the person on their mind? Okay, we have the Strength card. The Ace of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Wow. Six of Wands, and we have the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. So look at this. We have the Strength card. This person's trying to gain the courage to come towards you. They know they need to make something right, or there's something that they need to be honest about, right, to restore balance uh, back to this connection relationship. This uh, The Strength card here could be Leo energy, but it is also an energy of forgiveness, Maybe someone who knows that they need to be forgiven for something. Or maybe they need to give you forgiveness. Uh, energies can be reversed, so know that. Look at this. You've got the Ace of Cups. The, the, I'm just going to show you this. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords. And you also have the Four of Wands. So this is someone I feel like they have a hard time communicating their feelings, but they want to rekindle this, right? They want the love opportunity with you. They want a fresh start. Um, I do feel like this is someone who may now, maybe they weren't in the past, this could be someone who now seriously is seeing, right, the potential here of this connection, this relationship, after having some time here to think about how they feel about you. So it does feel like this is someone who... There is distance or separation. You also have here, you know, look at that. You got the Ace of Cups here, and you got the Nine of Cups, and you also have here the Six of Wands. So this is someone I feel they're trying to gain the courage to be open with you, to be transparent, to be honest. This is what they're having a difficult difficulty with. Now, some of you it could be because there's something unknown here they didn't tell you, or some of you, it's just that this person needs to open up. But this person here, I do feel like, you know, with that Six of Wands, this is someone who is thinking about the future, thinking about the potential of a relationship here, being together, rekindling things. It does feel like this is someone who has a lot of love for you, but it also feels like this is someone who hasn't really been good at expressing it to you. You have the Six of Pentacles, you have um, ooh, the Seven of Cups, and you have the Page of Cups. <coughs> 
So Scorpio, what I'm going to say here, some of you could have some upcoming options um, and you may have to decide where you're going to put your time and energy. So I feel like there's a new love coming in here for you with this page of cups upcoming, right? It could be now some of you, maybe, maybe you're flirting with someone or talking to someone, but I feel like this is someone upcoming, somebody new coming into your life. Okay. Because I feel like this is all going to be dependent on whether this person can open up to you, whether this person can be vulnerable and whether this person can share, you know, what their intentions are with you. And some of you, there's healing, right? There's healing. Some of you, this could be someone who's needing to apologize or wants forgiveness for a certain uh, situation. Going to be different for all of you. All right, let's look at singles energy. I already feel like there's someone new upcoming here too, but... Let's see what the single energy is here for Scorpio. Single energy for Scorpio. Okay. So we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Star card, Aquarius energy. The Six of Pentacles again, repeating energies here. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have your energy, Scorpio, with the death rebirth card, and we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. So Scorpio, I feel like, as I said, there's other people around you I feel that are interested, but I feel like you may be still thinking about what happened in the past here, and I sense here, uh, Scorpio... A lot of you may be still wanting to work on this connection with this person. But just know if you are dating or you want to meet other people and date people until this person can really step up to the plate, there's other people around you. All right. But I also see here, too, you're looking out for you. You're looking out for number one here. Uh, you're going to see what this person has to offer, what this person has to give right um it does feel like with the star card and the eight of pentacles there's an opportunity for you and this person to heal things right now whether you decide to continue to work on that connection or not is up to you so um scorpio i'm going to take this to the extended we're going to look at the next three weeks energy what they're thinking what they're feeling their upcoming actions intentions will get some love notes and guidance as well so i hope to see you there i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love